Hello everybody and welcome to another evening of Nail Talk Live. And today we are joined by nobody else but Jessica Papberg, of course now world famous through Nail Talk Live and through her activities as a magnetic trainer. And that's a lot of fun because she's going to work together with us at the yeah. demo table. Yes, because the show tonight is because all about ombre. And we see some new trends these days. A lot of them on Facebook and social media and everything. And um, yes, because you will let us see how to do this with air nails and to show the ombre technique, but then in a different way. Yeah, and also the 3D French yeah. manicure nail, because you started to develop an easy, fast way to make the nail that two weeks ago I had a lot of... Uh, I needed a lot of time to create that nail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but before we go and talk to you, of course, we are first going to tell you that we are going to start. So tonight, as Debbie said, it's all about ombre, ombre designs, uh, live and also in the videotaped uh, demonstrations. And Shariza is going to show us how to create a beautiful neon pigment crocodile skin reptile look. Very cool. And Miriam, um, she's going to show us an, an, an ombre with acrylics and some beautiful designs with glitters. Yeah. Yeah. Nice almond shape. Almond nail. shape, yeah, love it, love yeah, it. Super. And for this is the first time you're actually going to hear Jessica's real voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, that's true. That's true. I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah. Oh my. Yes, you're not from uh, no. Kansas. Howdy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. But I really love to see it uh, with my uh, with that voice. So yeah. <laughs> it's funny. So yeah. 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 <laughs> you were he here uh, for the open house as well. You did a workshop. Yeah. Magical fairy tale nail art. How was it? It was really cool. Uh, a big classes, full classes. Uh, I did two uh, classes. The first one was 21, I think, and the second was 23, so it was nice and cozy. Um, but we had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, you made beautiful nail art. Oh, thank you. And I saw that the students also made beautiful nail art. Yeah, they did. They really did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we launched the Once Upon a Glitter uh, gel polish collection, the mm -hmm. limited editions that we also showed you last week. Uh, but we have a beautiful commercial just to help us remember which colors were they. almost expecting a howling werewolf yeah <laughs> but this video is made by Cheyenne who is now behind the scenes mm. and uh, she makes these beautiful commercials we do everything in-house uh, I don't know if I told you guys that already but we do everything in the house art department and everybody has is multitasking like you yeah <laughs> because you are a mother you are a nail tech you are a trainer you are a source of inspiration what does a day in the life of Jessica look like really busy. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking, why do we need to sleep? Because that's m more, eight hours in a day that I can <laughs> use, but I need to sleep. So yeah, mm -hmm. really busy going on and on and on. Never saying, uh, sitting on my couch. No. So what does your family life look like? Well, I have two children, uh, uh, one of 16 and one of eight, a mm -hmm. boy and a girl. And I'm married for 14 years now with a really sweet husband because, because of my background, because of my um, uh, my husband and my life, uh, he stands beside me. And mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's you why are I can. By him. Yeah. But sure? really, yeah. 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 So I can do the things I really love to do. 
and he supports me. Yeah, so I'm really thankful for that. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah. I think we also know the feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Being supported <laughs> by the people at home. Yeah, absolutely. It's and very uh, important because you travel all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, you're one of the magnetic trophies. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so. If you think what um, you teach in different kind of techniques, what kind of technique do you like most? Well, my first love is of course hand painting. That is my true, true love. Uh, when I was uh, a small kid, I never gave uh, anything. I, I just sat at home and draw everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is my first love, and now uh, hand painting, full cover on, uh, on as designs on nails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have a, a second new love. Yeah, uh, uh, and that is air nails. That's really amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to teach uh, to learn it for about ten years now. Yeah, and uh, last summer I did, uh, and wow, it's amazing, and so fast. So you just started last summer with doing air nails. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really cool. I still, I still love hand painting, yeah. really, but air nails, wow! And it's it's doable for everybody mm -hmm. because in my uh, classes they come and they they don't know how to, and I teach them. And after the two day uh, class, they can they can air nails. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you see a difference between the hand painting classes and yeah. the air nail classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For hand painting, of course, it takes it, it takes talent. You have to have. And drive and, and drive, passion. Yeah. If because uh, there was a time that I couldn't uh, hand paint. Mm -hmm. I was in your class and uh, I learned from you and from Aukje, and you had uh, homework uh, for me, and I was like, mm -hmm, that it's not possible, Pepin. Mm -hmm. But because I really wanted to learn, I, I had the drive and the passion. Mm -hmm. So I I went on and on and on, and after ten years, yeah. I can hand paint, <laughs> <laughs> and but with air nails, that, yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> but air nails, of course, it's, is it easier to comprehend as a student how the techniques are built up and how the design is created? Yeah, yeah. Well, today's show is about ombre, and that is air nails. That is air nails. We do mm -hmm. ombre in different uh, um, sides. So uh, hand painting is as well ombre, but um, this is more easy to comprehend. Because uh, you need to know, uh, you need to know the colors. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, transparent colors, and 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 um, opaque, full covering, yeah, covering. yeah. yeah. full colors. covering col yeah. colors. So you need to know the, the difference, and you can play with those colors. Mm -hmm. and that is that is all. Yeah, the technique itself, of course, is just working with an air nails gun. Yeah. Or or is there a big difference in how you are? Uh, Applying force, yeah. how much air you use, yeah. is it uh, yeah. really? Yeah, so the full cover, mm -hmm. you can uh, work a little bit harder you, on, yeah. the on the trigger, but the transparent, you need to be really soft. And the distance uh, from your design, if you work far, your, or your spray will get wider. If you mm -hmm. go really tiny, then your, you can get lines. Mm -hmm. And you can work with diffuser and without, but that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And I will teach uh, the students that in the, in the, the class. Yeah, because the beginning of the class is really about learning to control the gun. Yeah. And cleaning the gun. It's really important. Mm -hmm. And how you spray. That is the most important thing. If you spray well, it's kind of like a song. Mm -hmm. You need to do one, two, three, spray. One, two, three, stop. <laughs> like that. I tell my students as well. Fancy. And if it's in your head, then you spray good. Mm -hmm. And then your your gun won't get uh, cluttered, won't get stuck with the paint. Uh, the funny thing is thing that people think that it's so easy to do, but I think there are a lot of little tiny things that make a design go easily, totally go wrong, or make it just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I I, I um, didn't know how to do air nails before. I didn't know that it was. I did know airbrushing, but the air nail system. Mm -hmm. And especially when I saw it for you, it was very inspiring. And uh, maybe you should be in one of your classes. Yeah, yeah. cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how long ago did you start teaching? Teaching, well, today, three yeah. years ago, On was the, the first day at Magnetic Nail Design, yeah. Oh, and an open well, house today, yeah. Happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three years now, yeah. OK, cool. Mm -hmm. Time flies, eh? Uh-huh, yeah. Well, we have fun, so that's yeah. why. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun also at the table, and then we will discuss more in depth 
mm -hmm. uh, how you do what you do and why you do it. So we have to go to the tech table. And while we do that, of course, we have a nice video of Mirjam for you. everybody nice that you're watching me again today I'm going to show you how to do a fading with acrylic and glitter I will use prestige acrylic powders hot camouflage and the opaque pink and I'm going to use acrylic black powder and loose glitters I will first create the free edge of the nail using prestige clear powder in a medium mix ratio Apply it on the high-tech form and then sculpting the free edge with the belly of my brush. I'm concentrating to make sure that the whole application of clear powder is smooth and even. This makes the fading with the acrylic black easier. Smooth everything out and let it cure. Now I'm using acrylic prestige hot camouflage powder on the nail bed. This creates a fading between the natural nail plate and the free edge. Again working in a medium wet mix ratio. Let it smooth out and blend it over the whole nail. Make sure that the application in the side walls is thin. At the cuticle area of the nail I will use opaque pink. This is a little bit more transparent and this makes the transition between cuticle area and nail even. After the application of the nail bed I'm going to use acrylic black powder and I will use this on the very tip of the nail fading it towards the nail bed. Don't work too wet with your acrylic black. Just first smooth it out with the tip of your brush and then blend it towards the nail bed. This gives a very even and thin fading or ombre effect. Don't take it too far up the nail bed in order for the glitter to have a nice position. Between these two, the nail bed and the free edge, I'm going to apply loose glitter. First I will apply a little bit of clear prestige powder and using this as a glue I now attach the glitter on top of this, here and there to make it nice and even. When the glitters are applied, I'm going to apply a little bit of clear powder on top of the glitters to make sure that these are encapsulated in the nail. Fading everything out and ensuring that the structure of the nail is nice. On the free edge I will apply a second bead so that I can file the nail without the risk of filing away the black acrylic powder. When the nail is cured I remove the form and I will file the nail in shape. First using an emery board shaping the nail. Paying close attention to the lower arches, the cuticle area and when I've done all of this, I'm using the expert bit to have a nice, even and smooth cuticle area. After which I buff it with a white block. Now the nail is finished, I'm painting a design with liner gel white. I will cure this for one and a half minutes in a twin light. Adding some dots to finish my design, again with liner gel white. After curing this, I will add a nice rhinestone with gemstone gel and cure this for one and a half minutes to fixate the rhinestone. When the nail is finished, I finish the nail with supreme finish, polishing and bringing it to a super high shine. This is the end result of a beautiful fading and ombre with acrylic. I hope you like this design, the acrylic design. Create your own variations with all of the colors, glitters and see you next time.
So we are sitting here at the tech table. And what you cannot see at home, but what we see are a lot of color pops, mm -hmm. a lot of designs. And um, of course, the 3D nail that we showed is a spot on trend. You see it everywhere. And um, we also played around with it last yes. week. Yeah. And I played around with it this weekend with mm -hmm. Natalia and Karen because our international trainers were here to do videotaping in the studio for our educational materials. And finally, we had a perfect end result. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then Jessica came in this afternoon showing her <laughs> air nails variations on the 3D French. <laughs> yeah. And they are so much nicer. Oh, thank you. So I'm so happy that you had the time to come here today and to show the way to do it. Because what we've been doing was, yeah, yeah like searching for work. Well, it's a very technical nail, and so doing the 3D French, of course, uh, you have to be very technical, very precise in order to get the right depth and the right shadows, using the right products, so it, it looks easy, but it's not that easy no. at all. Um, so, yeah, when I saw the designs from Jessica, I was just blown away. <laughs> so, before we start to talk about what, we, what you're going to do, we're first going to show you uh, air nails variations on the 3D French manicure nail. They're here on the table, and it's just amazing that this yes, is done only is. With, <laughs> with air nails paint and air nails. And it looks almost the same. Well, it looks the same. Which one are you going to show us? Uh, this one. Oop, oh, there we are. <laughs> yeah. So the, the turquoise green lime one. Yeah, yeah. I really I love them all. But this is kind of like for the summer, really beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I really love this color. So yeah. I'm going yeah. to do that yeah. one. I'm so curious because, of course, I Me understand too. how iron mills wear, works. But how did you prepare? So what is your starting point? Well, my starting point is nail plate extender gel polish. I've um, do, uh, done two layers of a uh, nail plate extender. I removed the sticky layer yeah. and then I buffed it with and a white block. You buffed the gel polish itself, yes. so not mm -hmm. first the top coat? No, no. Always do that with air nails. Um, just buff uh, your gel polish and it's okay. If we can uh, polish correctly, then, yeah. then it's okay. okay. Because otherwise your nail will get more full. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you have to seal it with one or two coats of top coat. I seal it with two. That is something we uh, we explain. I explain in the in the sh in, in my class as well. Um, we have a primer. Yeah. Uh, from air nails, and we have a top from air nails. But uh, first, I well, if I do like this, I always um, clean my uh, free edge first. Yeah. After doing my design. Yeah. Cleaning with a white block because you have paint over here and that will chip. Then I uh, place my primer just here. Yeah, on the edges of the nail, yeah. the hairline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there. yeah. And then um, base and top, always base and top, and then your top gel of choice. Yeah. And this, this base and top? After your design, after yeah. the yeah. air nail design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. always. Okay. Yeah. Why do you so strongly punctuate that you always use base and top? Because um, it can, um, well, base and top is a flexible top. Yeah. And um, well, the supreme finish is kind of harder, and the uh, uh, air, na air nails uh, top as well, mm -hmm. similar to yeah. uh, supreme. So um, if you do just one layer of uh, that top, it will crack, it will chip. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll come mm -hmm. to that again yeah. when you are finished. Mm -hmm. So you have you're going to do this not freehand. No. You're using. I'm a using sticker. my yeah, a masking, the deep French masking, because this is a long nail. Uh, mm -hmm. The deep friends, uh, well, it's it's more beautiful like this. If you have a shorter nail, you can use because we also have salon French uh, maskings. Okay. Yeah. This and I'm using yeah. my <laughs> tweezer. <laughs> <laughs> then first, I'm pulling one off. Yeah. And place that on my nail. And of course, you have to make sure that you are centered. Mm, yeah. <laughs> They are reusable, I believe. Yes, they are. I normally have a, a paper pellet. Yeah. And I am putting all the, the used maskings into my paper pellet so I can use them again. Okay. So, 
we are making um, lines. Yeah. So this is my first. So you space them out now. Yeah. And then, okay. Yeah. So this is uh, what I'm going to spray on, and then later on do the next layer. Okay, cool. Uh, you're going to start with a white base coat, I believe. No, the white uh, oh. airbrush paint, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I go over the white with transparent colors. And you finish the whole area before you go to the next next part of the nail, because I was expecting to spray it completely white and then apply it on top of that and then build it up. No, you need to have shade. Yeah. So I'm leaving into this uh, line yeah. a shade place. Yeah. Then I go on to make the, the next and the next will be completely white. Oh. But you will see. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm uh, first yeah. waking up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to wake up my gun first. I always say that in class as well. And what do you mean with that? Um, I've put a, a little drop of water into yeah. my gun mm -hmm. before I go in with my paint. It's Now it's wake. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so a little drop of white. The paint is very thin. But you have to shake it beforehand to make sure that it's all well yes. mixed. Yes. Okay. First, just checking my paint is good. I'm leaving because of uh, yeah. this gap over here. I'm putting mm -hmm. my thumb over it because otherwise you will see yeah. maybe some white. So let's begin. You begin spraying on your glove make sure that this stream is there yeah and then you move to okay so i'm just going over the line of my masking yeah. mm -hmm. but if you see i'm leaving on the outside a space yeah the, the pink shines through yeah that is cool ah so you're really focusing on the outer line of your um, yes. yeah your air nail stencil really mm -hmm. needs to be white and yeah, now the corners of the smile line, yeah. so it's really okay. Yeah. yeah. So oh. then on to my next line over here. Removing this one. And it's already dry now, the yes. Arnold's paint. Yes, you can go right over. And you stick it now on the paint, so it won't come yeah. off when you remove the sticker then. No, no, no. If you spray too um, thick, mm -hmm. yeah. then it will come off. So the key is really thin layers. Really thin, yeah. Just checking. Go back in. So you still have to take your time, although that's relative, but you don't you shouldn't want to be too fast no and then over oh. here that's completely different than i would have thought <laughs> yeah well, i was i was thinking that like you said that you first like do the whole white layer and then yeah. just with the amount of color you will create depth yeah, yeah. this one can be completely white like this. So now I've sprayed all of my white. Just putting this. Probably this is already. This is already very cool. Yeah. <laughs> like this. So now I am using. I just have to see it in real yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie, how cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's really beautiful. And easy. Yes. <laughs> Super. I'll just put it back here. <laughs> I first need to remove all of the white pigments out of my gun. So you're adding a little water now into into my gun, gun. Mm -hmm. and just with my pipette in and out, in and out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then all my white pigment, because if there's still a little bit of white in my gun, mm -hmm. you will see it onto your next color. Okay. It will mix. Yeah. yeah. And then it will get more pastel. 
So now I am using transparent colors, neon colors. Mm -hmm. The neon colors need to be really good shaken. And I need one masking yeah. back to over this one. Because I'm going to spray and I want You're to reapplying the masking at the, at the same area where you started. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to spray on top of it, okay? Like this. Yeah. And now I'm going to spray. So now you don't apply the second masking? No. Oh. Because the white is uh, covering. Yeah. And this is transparent. You will still see your white mm -hmm. underneath. Mm -hmm. Now oh. I'm yeah, doing yeah. like this. And just cover the whole nail. Well, maybe to the seconds. Mm -hmm. And because it's really transparent, just add a layer, wait and add another layer. Then it will get really neony. Mm -hmm. Neony, is that a word? <laughs> yeah, well, it's now, now it is. <laughs> yeah. So you do this freehand, just. Yeah. So you use the shadow that is created by the nail plate extender together with the white or the highlight of the white and then do a coat over this and that changes the depth. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And later on I will add uh, a darker color to mm -hmm. create the shade. And because this is really thin, you can, yeah. you can go over uh, with another color, with a masking as well, at once. So the blue. So you build it up a slightly darker towards the smile line. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa, but. Yeah. It's up to you which color you see you want to use. I really love this. Really love these colors. So that's blue, maybe a bit blue over here, and over there. So now I can add some shade. And you are going to reapply maskings for this? Yes, yes. Okay. Because this is a more covering paint that you're going to use, or is it also a darker transparent? transparent. Yes. Okay. This is easier than all the filing over and <laughs> it over is, and over and over. Now I am going to make my shade just at the center of the nail, in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so apply. It was a little bit too low, I think. Yeah? So that you see the. You don't want to see white uh, part of the white next smile line, or. Oh. Yes or no? Yes, I really yeah. love that. This, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. Because you see it in the, the in tec yeah. technical nails as well. Mm -hmm. That gives the, yeah, the, the 3D look. Yeah. yeah, the illusion so of the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So I use, I make my masking just a teeny tiny bit lower than the first line. Sorry, I need yeah, to. Yeah, just put it on the table. Yeah. No, no problem. We are in a lucky position to have multi-camera angles. Yes. <laughs> so even though your hair is very high, we are still able to see it. So let me see, just a millimeter. Yeah. Millimeter of the white. Yeah, just a teeny okay. tiny bit. So this is one of my favorite colors. Really love this one. A little bit teal, petrol. Yeah, yeah. So in the middle of my masking, yeah. I'm starting and just go Chuk, 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 chuk. Like this. Yeah, really focusing in the middle. Yeah. You can go all the way if you mm -hmm. like, yeah. but I really love it just in the center of my. Yeah. You see already? It's cool, huh? So over here as well. Just a teeny tiny. All of a sudden, this has become a salon technique. Yeah. Instead of uh, a Grandmaster yeah. International. But that's a good point, I think. Yeah.
I'm totally amazed how easy yeah. this is. <laughs> I'm as well, yeah. because it's... Uh, it, I see also so many different possibilities now in, in my mind. Mm -hmm. Because you could, of course, uh, add more and more and more and more. Mm -hmm. Build it up even further, use purple and then... It, it or flakes or... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's also funny that you really think in a different way. Um, why I would say I will spray color and make um, the depth and the, the highlights with spraying the color afterwards, but mm -hmm. you're actually using the white underneath and use that. So it's like a reverse thinking yeah. in how to apply your yeah. highlights. Yeah. 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 You can do it as well, like yeah. that, in that way. But that will be course. more work. It's a little bit yeah. more work. But again, then still air nails is fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, the nail is now it's finished, done. and yeah. then you you seal it. Yeah. So as you said, you use an, a primer to seal the edges. Mm -hmm. First, you take the white block to remove everything. Primer, base, and top, and then a top gel of choice. Yes. Yes. And then no wear and tear. No. No. My my clients uh, come back after four weeks with nothing chipped. Yeah. Can you imagine how fast this is with the field? Yeah. It's yeah, just uh, mm -hmm. and next. Yeah. For baby boom as well. It's you just, just two uh, drops you, you need. You just changed a very difficult technical nail into Sorry. a salon nail. No, <laughs> that's very cool. Yeah. yeah, That's very cool because often we hear, well, that's very cool, all these technical nails, but how do we do this in the salon and in the time uh, reference that you have yeah. with your clients? And this is something that you actually have the time to do. Yeah. yeah. Will you show us one more later? Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. because now we first have to go to Sheriza. Hello, nice that you're joining me again for another design. Today I'm going to show you another design, but this with pigments. An ombre with pigments. Well, it's super easy. It's actually the only way that I can do an ombre with pigments. But today I'm going to show you how to do this in a design. It's going to be a croco reptile skin print. And I'm going to add the ombre with pigments on top of that. First I'm going to finish the nail using black is black gel polish. When a nail is deeply pinched, it's important that you pay close attention at the sides of the nail to ensure that the whole nail is covered with the gel polish. At the cuticle area, I'm working with Jessica's Choice brush to create a perfect application. I will cure Black as Black for the full curing time in the twin light, because it's very important that when you apply black or white gel polish, that you cure it fully. Don't freeze cure it for only 10 seconds, because then it can wrinkle. Now I'm finishing it with Extreme Mud Top Gel. Don't forget to shake your bottle before using it. The nail is matte, it's very easy to work on top of this. The matte finish, I use it as a canvas for my design. Because it really attaches to the gel polish, it gives an easy application. I'm going to make white um, spots, square spots, using white as white gel polish. And I will just make squares in the middle of the nail, slightly bigger. And then towards the sides of the nail, I will make smaller squares of the croco skin. If you want, you can cure it between uh, spots to make sure that when you go by accident over the nail, that it's still there. So, it's a choice. Curing in between or not. Add smaller spots. and sp The first coat is now finished and I'm curing this for about 30 seconds. And then with black I will just make sure that it's nice and even. Now I'll start with the uh, pigments, neon pigments yellow and my ombre tool. And I'm going to apply this on top of the upper part of the nail. So making it slightly diagonal. Then I'll take the orange, remove the excess and just slightly dab it on the nail. And it's very easy because yellow and orange really blend into each other. I'll clean it and then I'll use neon pink. And with the neon pink I will finish the nail at the free edge. 
just dabbing it in there with the ombre tool. Make sure that you get a nice even blend. Yellow is a bit delicate, so if you ha um, be careful with it, and if you make a little mistake, just add a little bit to make sure that the fading is nicely done, the ombre is nicely done. Just a little bit more orange. And now the blend is better. Now I will make sure that the pigment is fixated by curing it for about 10 seconds in the twin light. Of course a little bit of the pigment is left on the black of the nail and I'm going to remove that with a soft dust brush and don't use a hard brush because otherwise you can damage the pigment and with a detailing brush with a little bit of prep and wipe I'll clean the black to remove the excess of pigment that's over there to create more contrast between the neon color and the black. Just be careful and just clean it here and there. Sometimes it sticks a little bit too much. So the, then I finish it with Supreme Finish. And now you can see the fading pop out. The pattern is really cool and really funky. 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 My design is finished, it's, it's shiny, it's cured, so have a look with me. So as you can see, we have a cool neon croco design. What you could also do is to um, give more 3D effect with gemstone gel on top of the spots to create more 3D croco design. But this is already very cool. Thank you for watching me and I'll see you next time. And start playing around with pigments. Be creative, be unique, be an artist. See you! Bye! Yeah, also a great way to use the neon pigments, of course. And during the video, we were talking to each other that we also would have done this design differently. differently yeah. <laughs> First do the fading and the ombre effect with the pigments and then paint on the black lines. But as you see, everybody is unique and has a different insight into yeah, how to create cool. nails. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> an eye-opener doing Nail Talk Live. We <laughs> hope also for you, of course. Uh, Jessica, we see this 3D nail mostly done with pastels, with, with muted shades, mm -hmm. soft shades. And I had a discussion last week with somebody and she told me, well, you can only do it with, with pastel shades. And then you came in today and you proved that it's not true. No. You can do it also with different other shades, darker yeah, shades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love darker shades. I yeah. really love black. Black is my happy color. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's doable. Again, with cover and uh, uh, color and then transparent co uh, color. And in this case, uh, the shimmer, the pearl, nice the gold, the metallics. Yeah. Okay, Over. so yeah. We, you have to show us. Okay. <laughs> So again, the masking. So the base is the same, nail plate yes. extender, gel polish, two coats, buffed with a white block. Yes. And now cool. you're going to, we put on a lighter table towel just to give a little bit more contrast later yeah. when the black is there. And again, you, so the build-up is exactly the same? Exactly the same. I only use, instead of white, I use black this time. So over here. Also comes off the paper easy, huh? Uh, I, I just look at it and I think, wow. Yeah. But I think all about all the possibilities in French manicure. <laughs> well, you really can use it also good with tool. an ombre tool. Yeah. And then you create a, a deep smile line with a white gel. How open. easy to mm -hmm. create with gel polish like a lovely French manicure. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the French manicure smile line stickers that we had in the past. Yeah. So, now I'm going to add a little drop of black into my gun. You don't thoroughly clean your machine during the demo. Eh? It's just rinsing it out, spraying it empty, and that's it. Yes. And yes. then at the end of the day? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to uh, um, take all of the parts uh, out you and then clean it all with uh, water and alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can work like this all day mm -hmm. in the salon. Oh, super. Spa. Yeah. It's it really also perfect. makes it easier. Yeah. yeah. So again, here comes the happy color. Yay! <laughs> Just a little bit more in the middle, perhaps, of the TV. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. 
And just as with white, focusing on the smile line itself, yes. fading it towards the pink on the free edge, yeah. and which it now needs looks to on top. Mm -hmm. Really black in the corners. Like this. Super. And then... This is even faster than using black nail polish. Mm -hmm. I really love it like uh, like this in a minute. Yeah, because then you get the same as what I liked with the white. Yeah. Black fadings to nothing. Like this. What nice, to to, uh, what, uh, nice is to what nice is to mention is that Ernest was created by Marina Fialko and Svetlana Andreeva, our mm -hmm. magnetic distributors in Saint Petersburg, and in Russia. Air nails is really popular, and also now in Western Europe. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of distributors giving a lot of classes. And in Holland, of course, Jessica is our air nails guru. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's proving why. It's so much fun to do. And because it's mm -hmm. so fast. Cool. Ready, huh? Yeah. yeah. Super. Oh, like this. Because I need to be the tip perfectly black. Yeah. If you would work on the on a client, of course, you still hold the finger the way you hold it normally. Yeah. And you would just make contact with this upper side of the to, to make sure that the spray is not on the nail bed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly like this. Mm-hmm. So Super cool. This I really love. Super cool. This is already beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm cleaning my gun. Yeah, of course, because the black paint the black. has to mm -hmm. be yeah. taken so out. the same as white. So one of the tricks when you work with airbrush is that you first spray air, paint, air, close. Yeah. Yes. Count to three. Open and count to three, close. Otherwise you contaminate the whole needle of the air nails gun and... Yeah, and your paint will uh, dry into yeah. your gun. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you can't spray. And when a client is expecting a nail like this, you need to spray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just checking. Okay, first I'm going to take gold. And drop. Mm -hmm. It's really one drop. Just one, one drop. One drop goes in there. And with one drop, how many nails you can do? Um, well, with two drops, mm -hmm. just a teeny tiny. With two drops, you can do uh, baby boom on 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And now you just go spray. Are you focusing in the middle on the I'm side? I'm focusing on the on the tip on the first uh, line. Like this. Then clean my gun. Mm -hmm. Taking bronze. Yeah, so you build up from light to dark. Yeah. And then spray it out until you see the bronze color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm focusing on the middle. Like this. Clean your gun so again. So shiny, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now because uh, later on you will add the the shade, and then you yeah. will see the differences. Then you get the contrast. Yeah. Yeah. I really love this design. Well, for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I would wear it every day. <laughs> so now I need to do this. To protect the nail bed. Mm-hmm. So. And the final line. Now it's up. From gold to bronze. It's really cool. 
And now we do the same. As we did earlier. As we did earlier. Going over these lines. Pigments are uh, really cool, the, yeah. the metals, but the shimmers will get in your gun. So you need to yeah. clean really cool, uh, really good before you go back with your... Yeah, otherwise mm -hmm. you will get black with the shimmer. Yeah. Of course, that's because the particles are a little bit bigger. Yeah. So I do this oh, maybe three, four times like this, and you will get... I'm pumping my... Ooh, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. And getting the shimmer more out, more faster, like this. So it's a very important thing to really clean every time in between yes. different kind of colors. Yes. If you're staying in the same range, you can use the same range. But if you're using like something glitter and go to matte or go for transparent to really high pigmented, you need to clean it every time. Yes. Yes. Uh, with the black and the white, uh, if you are finished with uh, dark and start with light again, mm -hmm. you need to uh, clean your gun. So that's why I always tell uh, my students, uh, please um, think of yourself when you build your design, mm -hmm. start with your light colors, and then you don't have to clean your gun in between mm -hmm. when you are working on your design. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Time management, yeah. paint management. Yeah. So, a little drop of black, just, yeah, it's black. And again, the same. Yes. It's just in the center. Mm -hmm. And you're spraying closer by now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was so focused on where she was spraying. Yeah. Why, do <laughs> why are you closer by? Because I really want uh, to focus on the middle yeah. uh, of my nail. Yeah. I can do it with diffuser or without if you screw off your uh, diffuser yeah then you will get a line mm -hmm. you show on the camera what the diffuser is because you were showing us but it's on the tip of the gun yeah this I would n you, this. you just put that tip uh, upside down on the table I would be so careful <laughs> <laughs> but that's just possible because it's air yeah, it's possible okay. and I do it upside down because of the masking otherwise yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. the masking will get uh, <laughs> So you can screw this up or on. Okay. Cool. Okay. So the last. Focusing. Yeah. Focusing on the middle. Just a tiny bit. And then I'm looking at my design and I'm thinking like, mm, maybe I need over here just a little bit more black to get it more grounded. So mm -hmm. I'm adding my masking at the beginning yeah. mm -hmm. then taking another just to create a line a black line ah, over yeah. here to make it sharper yeah cool and I really love to work with black next to a color color will pop more mm-hmm and it will get more grounded. Like this. Okay. I want to see. And then we do like ta 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 ta. Super amazing. cool. Super cool. Really. So, if you will uh, cap this, normally on a client, I will go with a white block over here, then go again with the primer, the annuals primer over here. You don't have to cure that. And then you will go with your base and top over, cure that 30 seconds. And because this is a demo nail, I will do just the Supreme. Because that will be sufficient. Yeah. But on a client, you need to do those steps. I really love that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, even more depth than when you file and do everything. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's, it's, it's beautiful. I'm totally flabbergasted. Yeah, you're but kind of speechless. That's quite, <laughs> quite, quite unique. Yeah. <laughs> Great, yeah. really, I love it, yeah. 
unbelievable. You also developed an Air Nails 2.0. Yeah. And that's like the complicated version yeah. of Air Nails, where you really build up a design in different steps, more elements. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. And you're going to start doing giving those classes is starting in January, I yeah, believe? Yeah, next year, the 2.0 uh, mm -hmm. class mm -hmm. is that one called. So we do uh, butterf butterflies with, with the wings and the uh, the be the birds with the beaks and the wings and everything. Oh. And layer after layer after layer. Yeah. You have to come back to show us those yeah. designs mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. By the time it's closer to the first class that you're going to give. I will, cool. Super cool. Really amazing. Cool. Let's have yeah. a look. Yeah. Because you also had it finished uh, matte. Matte, yeah. So then you can see the difference. Wow. Uh, I like them both. Yeah. yeah. But this but the on shiny camera, one is the more shiny sparkling. Ones, yeah. 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 Really I know cool. what I'm going to wear for Christmas. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, then you have to f uh, do a yeah, class yeah. with Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> So, next week we also have a cool show, and that's really up your street. Yes, uh, next week we have a show uh, about French manicure, and of course this is a French manicure, kind of as well, but the really, really classic French manicure, and uh, more about uh, the perfection in a French manicure. Um, and we're going to have a discussion with one of my team members, and she's also a magnetic trainer, and she has this her own um, location on Magnetic in the Netherlands in Weert and it's Annelies uh, den Brabander yeah. and um, it's going to be a lovely show because um, now we're going to actually tape it tape it because you're in Hong Kong yes uh, Jaap, May and I go to Hong Kong and so next week it will be the videotaped show but in the English version it's always mm -hmm. videotaped because we cannot do two things at the same time <laughs> unfortunately except when you're Jessica <laughs> uh, so but next week it's French manicure back in the studio mm -hmm. so are you doing French or aren't you doing French because you are a little bit afraid of doing French then you yeah. have to watch this show yes uh, what I also I want to thank you for showing us these beautiful designs. Thank you for having me. Inspirational as always. Aww. Thank you for watching us. And just to close everything off, I think we just have a nice second round of the Once Upon a Glitter commercial. Ooh.